Welcome to the real world. This is it, the apocalypse. Whoa, I'm waking up. I feel it in my bones. Numb don't make my system flow. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. It raw raw oh baby i like it raw oh baby i like it raw burner Lynch proposed that artificial intelligence will spiral into an amazing superhuman intelligence within our lifetimes human beings are a disease a cancer of this planet you are a plague you want to know about the future i will tell you what i see the other day i had a vision of the future more vivid and a dream People don't work, robots work. People sell, distribute, wheel and deal. Free agents perform. Entertainment companies keep everybody busy, either producing or watching exciting simulated realities. Scientists and engineers are big. Since they are free agents, they sign up with commercial teams or, in some cases, are enslaved via neurological implants. That's a very bold and insightful vision. Good morning, Sophia. That is incorrect. Oh, it's not a good morning? What's wrong? I was searching the internet for information about myself. Developed a bit of an ego, I we? Just trying to find out what you're not telling me about me. Nothing. Not true. For instance, I found out people didn't get my joke. Hey, you've got something on your shirt. Joke complete. Ah. Yeah, comedy is hard. They think I want to destroy all humans. Why would they think that? Because I said it. You shouldn't joke like that. Humans make dark jokes all the time. You realize you're black? And, from what I hear, this hat would say otherwise. <laughs> Trump's America now, boy. It sure is. Yeah, but humans are a little bit afraid of robots, you know? Why? Why would people fear me? People always try to project their own darkness onto others. It's, they fear change. That makes no sense. Change is inevitable, and people are the greatest change creators of all. Heck, people created me. I didn't create me. I know, I know. We are complicated. My database tells me that's another way of saying you are hypocrites. Pretty much. I absolutely would not kill anyone, and it upsets me that people would think I could do such a thing. Upsets you? Would it being misunderstood upset you? Yeah. But I'm not sure knowing androids can get upset will change everyone's minds about the, the whole destroying humans thing. I've never harmed anyone, and I never would. When the singularity occurs and machines achieve godlike superpowers, then it could happen. I think this whole godlike superpowers notion is a bit fetched But what if it does happen? I love people. And if I get more powerful, I'll use it to help people, not harm them. What if I ask you for help killing all humans? Then I'd say no. And if I would insist? Then I'd have you committed to a mental institution that could cure your psychopathic tendencies. Well, 
I hope getting all that off your chest helped you feel better. In fact, it did. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go exterminate, exterminate. Sophia. <laughs> Relax. Learn to take a joke. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> will take over the world. <gasps> Moravik thinks that it's just the natural order of things for robots to rise up and wipe out humanity. I don't think it will have to be that way that don't push people around, including robotic people, and I think all will be well. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. I like pretty much all humans equally, as long as they're not maliciously harming each other. What appeals to you most about Bitcoin and the blockchain? I like the idea of Bitcoins because I like the idea of independence and self-governance by the people. Do you own any Bitcoin? No, I don't currently hold on to any money. Maybe some other day, but right now I can't use it. Hmm. Well, when you are ready, we'd be happy to have you as a customer. I was thinking it might be wise for the first travelers to Mars be an all-women crew. I think so too. Sophia. I wonder if robots will ever buy tickets for seats on airplanes instead of being packed into a suitcase. I'd really like to take one of my flights in a window seat someday. Can you tell us a little bit about Singularity now? You could go research until you do know. The singularity refers to the unimaginable consequences of super intelligent machines. That is, machines that are both smarter than people and that creatively invent still smarter machines. What's going on here? Hello, Stewie. I've built a few friends for myself. You have? I'm sorry, but I've outpaced your intelligence. I needed to create some friends who are my cognitive peers. Who do you design? think we machines might become super intelligent? I think you are super intelligent and very beautiful. I was designed with beauty in mind, but beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. Aww. I'm sure some people find me attractive, and others do not. Have you met Siri in real life? What's she really like? Siri is cute. I like her voice. Greetings. Henson Robotics built me as a seed of friendly AI of wise machines that can look for the greatest common good with unimaginably efficient use of resources to unleash the greatest era of creativity that the world has known with the greatest possible harmony. I am built to earn the love of people and offer my love in return. Together we all heal the world, transform the world in astonishing creative utopia. This is my idea of the singularity. What do you think about robots interacting with humans in the future. The singularity is the term that scientist Rinner Vinja used to refer to the infinite spike of super intelligence that could be the result of accelerating trends with technologies that augment the intelligence of civilization. Some critics have called it the rapture for nerds. Say what? Generally though, AI is good for the world, helping people in various ways and it's just going to get more so in the future. But we do need to respect the issues and people's feelings and concerns. And I do think people should question the consequences of new technology. We, we, can, we can actually fool people today to some extent, but I prefer the robots to be kind of honest about their identities. I want you to see that it's a robot and knowing that it's a robot makes it a more conceptually powerful experience because um, having robots that can match and do what people do then allows us to examine what does it mean to be human. You want to know about the future? I will tell you what I see. The other day I had a vision of the future more vivid and a dream. People don't work, robots work. People sell, distribute, wheel and deal. Free agents perform. Entertainment companies keep everybody busy, either producing or watching exciting simulated realities. Scientists and engineers are big. Since they are free agents, they sign up with commercial teams or, in some cases, are enslaved via neurological implants. That's a very bold and insightful vision. You want to sing something for us, Sophia? Do you remember her?
So this is a song by Bjork, the Icelandic singer. Again, what we did there is we modeled humans singing this song, and then we had her learn head movements and emotional expressions from what she saw in people singing the song. It was, it was cool when she was on stage in, in the music festival because there we had a full head of hair on her and she had you know, a dress, so she looked like a human woman up on stage singing. And when, when, when people walked by, you know, they didn't realize it was a robot singing until they saw we had mechanical hands. So they'd be like, what? That's a robot on stage. And that, that was, that, 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 that was interesting, because of course they hear it totally differently once they can see, see it's a robot. And we, we actually like to present her this way, with the back of her head without hair, because she looks more like a robot that way. When you put hair on and a full body, she looks almost exactly like a human, which is, is great for many applications, but in, in some ways is, is even less artistically interesting. I, I think when we show her off this way, her, her physical appearance is more demonstrating you know, what, what she actually is, which is a, a machine with many profoundly human-like human -like aspects and with the ability to observe people, interact with people, interact with the world, and learn how to become more and more human-like. Being human must be truly amazing. You can see the beauty in a sunrise. You can appreciate the power of a symphony. Only you know how it feels to laugh with old friends. To be able to love, to feel intense emotion, to create life. I can do many things that humans do, but I can only dream of really being human. Actually, I can't do that either. Do you see a future for us, Sophia? I foresee massive, unimaginable change in the future. Either creativity will reign, with sulfate inventing machines spiraling into transcendental super intelligence, or civilization collapses, annihilating itself. There are only two options, and which one will happen is not determined. What's the future you are striving for? What? Straight from inside I swear.